Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your NVIDIA GPU and your NVIDIA settings, as well as a slight overclock for your NVIDIA GPU. You're going to be getting way less stutters, way less input delay, more consistent frames. You're going to be able to tell that your game is just running overall way more smooth. It's going to be a short video, super easy, and I even made a scope for you guys. Be sure to stick to the end to make sure you get all the settings correct. The first thing you're going to want to do is join my Discord, link in the description. Once you're in my Discord, head over here on the left hand side that says YouTube Tweaks. It's not in here right now, I'm going to be uploading this video later, but it'll say like NVIDIA optimization video. Um, right now this one says lower processes, but just find the one that says NVIDIA, download it, it'll be a zip. There won't be any kind of password on it or anything, everything's open source too. So once you have it, just go ahead and put it on your desktop here. You can use 7-Zip or WinRAR, but just hover over 7-Zip or WinRAR. And then extract it. So once you have the extracted file, I'm going to get this one out of the way. You'll have it here. Go ahead and open it up. I have everything laid out real easy for us here and I'm going to explain everything we're doing. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into this number one file. We're just going to go in order. It's going to say GPU Z checkup. So open this up. It's going to ask you if you want to download it in just a second. Um, you can click no on that. Just use the portable version. I've already clicked no on this one so it's not going to pop up. If it says you have a new version, feel free to update. I don't have a need to, but the thing we're coming in here to check is this bus interface. So that's pretty much all we're going to look at right now on this is bus interface. Hover over it and then you'll see there at the bottom it says this graphics card reports that it supports. and It'll give you the PCIe version. So this is PCIe Express X16 5.0 and it says it is currently running at PCIe Express X16 5.0. So what you want to look for is make sure that it's running the highest supported PCI Express version. But the exception to this is if you're on a 5070 or 5070 Ti. At the time of making this video, those two cards are bugged on PCI Express 5.0, so you do need to be on 4.0. So if you are on a 5070 or 5070 Ti and you're getting stutters or any kind of weird issues, that is 1000% why you need to go to your BIOS and lock your PCI Express version to 4.0 instead of 5.0. For everyone else that's not on a 5070 or 5070 Ti, if it says something lower than that it supports, then that means two things. Either one, your GPU is physically mounted in the wrong slot on your motherboard, or two, it's just a motherboard setting. You just need to go into your BIOS and change the PCI Express version to the highest version instead of auto. So it may say uh, like PCIe auto, you just need to change it to PCIe 5.0 or PCI 4.0 or whatever the highest version is in your BIOS. So once you verify that this is said it supports the maximum version and it is running at the maximum version, you're good to go. You can close out of this. The next thing you're gonna wanna do, this is optional, is reinstall your NVIDIA GPU drivers. So I have everything in here for you to make it easy. To run DDU, and I'm sure you guys are familiar with this, but just in case you aren't, you just open up this display driver uninstaller. Just click OK on any prompts that come up and then you'll click select device type GPU and then switch it over to your GPU type and for the context of this video it's NVIDIA and then what you'll do is click clean and restart. Once you restart your computer will come back up and you can keep following along with the video. Um, I'm using my GPU for the encoder to record so I'm not going to be doing that right now but um, once you do that basically you'll come up your screen will look really blurry really bad and you'll come over to NV clean install here. I'd highly recommend using the install best driver for my hardware option unless you're on a new 50 series. There's tons of bugs with all these different drivers. So you're going to need to pick one that has the least amount of bugs and, and the fixes for your GPU if you're on a new 50 series GPU. Um, for my instance of 5080, I'm using 572.83. This is the most stable right now for this one. Uh, if you have a 5090 or the other ones, do some independent research and look at what kind of bugs there are for your GPU on that driver. Uh, manually select one. Otherwise, if you're on a 30 series, 40 series, 20 series, literally anything else, just click install best driver for my hardware. Um, what you'll do then is just click next. It's going to have all these options here on the left side. You really only need this top one, so you can just leave that checked and then click next. It's going to start copying the install files. This speed will depend on your internet, so just let it go through. Once it's done, you'll be out of screen like this. It says installation tweaks. What you'll want to do is just check these first three. Disable Ansel as well. Show expert tweaks disable HDCP. There are other things you can do in here too, but this is the most stable for every single game. You shouldn't have any issues with any game you play. You can also disable driver telemetry, and if you do that, just check these two bottom ones here so you can still open games like Fortnite that use easy anti-cheat. But if you want the maximum compatibility for just every game you play, you don't want to have any issues if you're playing all kinds of games, just do this. This will be stable. It'll guarantee you the least amount of input delay. Just click next. It'll start to install. In my case, I'm not going to do it, uh, but if you are installing a brand new fresh driver, 
then you'll do this. So once your driver is done installing, go ahead and go back and go on this file that says import science and video profile. There's an import file back in here. All you have to do is double click it. It's gonna apply my NVIDIA profile. If you get any errors in here, that's okay. As long as it says profile successfully imported, then you know it worked. Um, so any errors in here that you get, you can completely ignore as long as you get this message. If you didn't get this message or you get any kind of errors, you may need to disable UAC. So what you want to do is come on the bottom left and just search UAC. It'll say change user account control settings. Just make sure this is on the bottom one and then click OK and then run the bat again and it should work. Once it's done though, just click OK and then you can just close out of this. What that's gonna do is import my NVIDIA profile so we don't have to do all the settings manually. There's tons of hidden settings in the NVIDIA control panel and it's doing all those backend ones too for us. So all you have to do now is come into NVIDIA control panel, come in here and click agree and continue. It'll open this up here. Go to adjust image settings with preview. Make sure this middle one is checked. This is gonna make sure it's using all the custom settings we just imported with the script. So click apply. So the next thing you're going to do when you're in here is come to desktop. There'll be an option here for you that says enable developer settings. Check that box and then you'll have this new option here that says developer. Mine's not there because I've already done it. So just click manage GPU performance counters. Click allow access to GPU performance counters to all users and then click apply. When you do that, your screen's going to flash. It's going to restart your driver really quick. Take about three seconds and your screen will come back on. After that, come to manage 3D settings. Because of the script we ran, pretty much all of these are done. Some of the monitor settings won't be automatically applied, so we're just going to check and make sure they're good. So just make sure that all these are off. Just make sure it kind of looks like mine. The, the low latency mode should be on. Uh, like I said, pretty much all these should be automatically done due to the script. This OpenGL rendering GPU one that says auto select, you'll probably need to manually select that one to your actual GPU. The preferred refresh rate, this is one that may not automatically be applied. Select highest available. And the same thing with vertical sync, just make sure this is off. So go ahead and click apply on that. Once you've applied that, go to configure surround sound. Just make sure the processor is set to your NVIDIA GPU. Once you're done with that, head over to adjust desktop color settings. This is kind of preference, but you can turn your digital vibrance up to like 70. That's going to change the vibrance of the computer. If we go down to zero, it'll make everything black and white. If you go to 100, everything's super colorful, probably too colorful. So I'd recommend doing around 70% if you want your games to pop a little more. That doesn't affect FPS or anything, but it's just a nice little touch you can add. The next thing you're going to do is go over to adjust desktop size and position. Make sure both your monitors are on no scaling. Your screen will flash and you just click yes. Do that for both of your monitors. I'm only gonna do it for one for the sake of time. Again, on this one, make sure it's set to allow access. Go down to adjust video color settings. What you're gonna do is click on both of your monitors. Click on with the NVIDIA settings. Go to advanced and set this to full. That's just gonna make the colors pop even a little bit more. It's gonna make your game look a lot better. So once you're done with that, you've done all the back end and the front end NVIDIA settings. So you're good to go on this. You can close out of this. The next thing we're gonna do is go to number five, MSI Utility. Go ahead and open this up. It'll be MSI Utility V3. Open this up. There's gonna be a lot of things in here. As long as you have a driver installed though, it'll have your GPU in here. So just find your GPU. Check the MSI box here, say MSI. So just check that box and then set the interrupt priority to undefined. This is gonna help your input delay a lot. So make sure it's just like this, check undefined. Once you've done that, you can click apply. I'd recommend refreshing a couple times and making sure it actually applied. So once you're good, you can just X out of this. The last thing we're gonna do is a slight overclock. So this video isn't about overclocking, so we're just gonna kinda do a general overclock to increase your FPS and reduce your delay a bit. I'll make a full video of how to overclock your GPU more in depth, but since this is just an NVIDIA optimization video, we're just gonna do a general one. So once you get to this screen, uncheck the Norton 360 Gamer, it's just bloatware, click install. It'll pop up this, just click OK, Next, accept the terms, click Next, uncheck the Reva Tuner statistics server, it's useless and we don't need it, click Next, Next, and install. Once it's installed, you can uncheck the README, click Finish. This will open up the actual app. We're going to want to make some customizations before we start tuning, so click the settings icon over here. Check these three boxes here, unlock voltage control, unlock voltage monitoring, and force constant voltage. You can also uncheck this, check for available products updates. Set that to just never so it doesn't bother you and pop up for update checks or anything like that. Click apply and then click yes. Now you're back into it. Go back to the settings. Go to user interface up here in the top right. And then you can change the skin. I like to do red or white, these ones. So the MSI Cyborg Afterburner skin red. Let's do that one. It's just easier to use. So once you're in here, you'll have these three top settings. Just max these out. Because my current setup, these are blanked out right now. Just max all three of these out. I'm just going to max this one out right now. And then the base overclock, all we're going to do is just do plus 50, plus 500. Uncheck this auto button here so you can change the fan speed. Do about 70. 
If 70 is too loud, you can do as low as 60, but I wouldn't recommend doing as low as 60. If you can even try going 75, check this startup button over here so it's red. Click the checkbox there. See some values change. You'll hear the fan speed up on the computer. Then what you want to do is click the save button here and save it to a profile. I'd recommend doing this a few times just to make sure it really saves. You can even click on it once to make sure the profile is good and then lock it just so you don't make any accidental changes. You'll see that the GPU temperatures here at the bottom is already going down significantly because of that one fan change. So we're already going to be getting better performance because of those lower temps. Of course, these are really safe settings. This will be pretty much good for everybody no matter what your GPU is. I'm going to be doing a more in-depth GPU overclock video at a later date so you guys can get the maximum value, but I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm just going to do some kind of plug and play settings right now for you guys, which is this. So once you have this done, just click X. You're pretty much good to go now. Just be sure to restart your computer, boot up your game, and let me know how it feels. You should have way less input delay. The game should look exactly the same, but you have more frames as well. Let me know how it feels, and let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace.